Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Star Wars Black Series action figure of Zori Bliss. Man, oh man, this figure looks freaking rad. I was quite a fan of the design of Zori Bliss. I think her costume in The Rise of Skywalker was freaking awesome. So I'm really glad that Hasbro has included this character to join the Black Series, and I think they have done a really, really great job with it. The, uh, the little gray stripe on the boot compared to the rest of the black is good. Uh, the purple and gold colors really, really pop. Um, the sculpt of like the lines going down like her stomach, the wrinkles along the chest, the wrinkles on the, uh, the arms, the little details within the, uh, the gold sections like on the belt, and just the little brown straps. I mean, man, there's a lot of really good details in here. Um, which Hasbro, you know, for such a major mainstream toy company, uh, has, has really seemed to excel with their details um, within the Black Series. So good for them for that. For, you know, for a roughly 20-ish dollar price point, I think you get some pretty good bang for your buck with the last couple years worth of Black Series figures. The helmet looks extra good. Um, yeah. Uh, speaking of helmet, let's just go ahead and, and tackle this subject now. The uh, little visor can come off just like how it does in the movie where well, it opens up off camera, but there we go. We get a little bit of Carrie Russell's eyes in there, and uh, that looks pretty good. I mean, it's not much. It's, it's hard to say, oh, that's a great likeness, but, uh, you know, there it is. Uh... You can tell they use like their more modern printing process for this. Um, but yeah, the actual quality of the eyeball paint, the eyebrows, the shading around the eyes is quite good. Now this figure comes with but two accessories, just these pistols. But you know what? These pistols are really well done. Like the sculpt on them is awesome. And the fact they did a little bit of red paint right in there is a nice touch. There's some really good detailed paint to this. I thought her pistols in the movie looked super cool. So the fact that they've included them with this figure uh, and done them so well is uh, is quite pleasing. Her articulation is the standard Black Series articulation that we've all kind of come to expect from Hasbro. Um, the, the shoulder joint does have these little kind of like locking spots that I, I'm not quite used to with the Black Series, so that's a bit of a bummer. But as far as the pistols fitting into her, uh, her hand, they did a good job with... Uh, the finger placement on the gun, and then also the fact that her, her wrists hinge so you can get that nice line from her arm across the gun. Uh, and then they also fit into the, uh, the holsters quite easily, so props to Hasbro for that. Props to them for, you know, making the figure correctly and letting it do the things it's supposed to do and look really damn good while it's at it. Uh, yeah, looks great. I love it. I think this figure's rad. Um, She's basically a female rocketeer without the rocket pack. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I am shooting this from my little quarantined home uh, in a different location, so if the sound's a little echoey, just bear with me. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. All right. And if you want, you can follow me on social media. I'll put up all those stupid links right now.